I don't know why the Night Stalkers aren't attacking me, but I'm okay with this. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You're such a cute little guy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Give you a little squishy scratch right behind your ears. Yes. 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 Yes, are you tasting the air? Does it taste Was good? That all? Shut up, Hope. This is Little Yangtze. Oh. It's an internment camp. <laughs> oh, God. The most pleasantest place on Earth. That's not what I was hoping to... Mm. Hmm. A lot of these robots are destroyed. Maybe the people that were in this concentration camp broke free. Hey, a baseball bat. I can actually use that. That's an actual weapon. Baseball bat. Uh, you threw a <laughs> baseball at me. He's trying to be friendly. <laughs> Throw the baseball. Throw it again. Well, not if you're going to whack him with the bat. I'll, th I'll hit it this time. <laughs> ah, oh, I missed. Strike one. Strike two. Ah, come on. Hey, good news! The robots are active, so these Yangtze survivors won't be survivors for much longer. This will keep you on your feet. What is your plan here? To make an enemy out of everything? It is a sniper rifle. Okay, you found a weapon, which is- Ow, 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 ow! Stop! How good is it against robots? It seems to be pretty effective. Well, we only have a few bullets for that thing. Ow! Ow! Ooh, a lobotomite that attacked you had a hunting shotgun, did he? Yes. Well, it sounds like I was going to shoot this guy in the head as a way of thanks, but um, I need these bullets. Force <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> fields can only be disrupted by a specific frequency. If anyone has found the frequency, last seen around X8, let the dome know at once. That's where we're going next. We need that force field disruptor. Thanks, Dr. Venture. So Watson and Sherlock Holmes are out camping. They're looking up at the stars and Sherlock Holmes says, Watson, when you look up at the stars, what do you think about? And Watson goes, well, I think that there's a vast and infinite universe and many possibilities. And every single one of those stars is a place that could potentially harbor life. And I, I, I think it's really beautiful that, that there's all that space out there and we're so cosmically small. And yet, at the same time, so very significant. And Holmes goes, No, Watson, you idiot! Someone has stolen our tent! <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. Oh, that's cool! This guy was shooting at us? But he's just a skeleton inside a suit, so it was just the suit. Yes, the trauma suit was shooting at us, actually. Because the person that is inhabiting it is dead. And Zach's got no ammo for his gun. I have the bullets. How dare you? Oh, good. Oh, good. I have lots of 12-gauge ammo because they didn't take my ammo. They just <laughs> took my gun. <laughs> if that suit gets obnoxious, give it to me. You can have back this crappy leather armor. All right. I probably will eventually. I'm getting sick of her. Ow. Uh -oh. It's probably getting sick of you. Sorry, suit. If you're going to be worn by Zach, better get used to this. The DNA Preservation Lab. Oh good, maybe we can find some chocolate DNA in here so we can get that data test for you. <laughs> I, I said I had eaten candy. So I didn't not, have sex with a candy bar. So we're not going into that data center? No. We gotta get the gun first? We need the gun first. Okay. That is the most important thing. Time to fight. No it isn't! Did you know it's Stacy's birthday tomorrow? Why not send her an Evite? Oh. Yeah, I think he's well done, you guys. <laughs> I think it's finished. You can stop. So, yeah, it's doing a real good job in there. What's this thing that we're here for? Oh, is this my brain? Cessation of hostilities complete. Oh my god, Mike, you're taking this suit. Check. So these brains that are in the jar are probably not yours. Somebody else's brains. Oh, uh, this one's mine. <laughs> you can tell because it's smaller than the rest. Project Burke involves what some less science-minded individuals might call grave robbing. Yes, we're forced into this due to budget cuts. No, none of senior staff uses the bodies for anything else. Hey, did you guys finish robbing the graves back there? Uh, uh, shut up. Finally, in regards to the rumor that Project Hare engages in liquidation operations against non-military targets, super guru research subjects, I will not dignify them with a response. Did you guys make sure to get a bunch of civilians, too, to, uh, you know, liquidate? Do you mind? I'm recording the audio log right now. Please shut up. Adam Figgis, MD, PhD, DVM, DDD, MDDD. For this test, you must use any means necessary to retrieve three student files from an average high school. Basic security protocols have been activated. Welcome to high school. Attention, students. This is the pre recorded voice of your pre recorded presentation. 
principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Okay. You may know me as the head chief first researcher of labs Z9 and Z14. There I fought valiantly to preserve rattlesnake DNA and put it right where it belongs, in the husk of another feared predator. Oh, and the tarantula hawk. Can't splice enough, I always say. Especially if you can make a magnificent cazador. Oh, they made the cazador too. It has come to my attention that many of you seemingly innocent children have been subverted by red propaganda. This is a most serious matter, Die. requiring the most serious of detentions. Can you spell detention? I'll tell you how I spell it. Death tension. Tommy Pico traitors. Oh. Now, I will send vicious cybernetic cyborg dogs through the corridors to weed all you traitors out. They will sniff out which among you have chosen the Kami path. Especially you, Betsy Bright. Turn me down to the high school dance or you can smoke with Richie Marcus. What? Is he a high school student or is he the principal? Because he's acting like both. Retrieve Richie Marcus's midterm grades. Fall lover, Marcus. You got an F minus and everything except science, but you got an F minus minus. Oh, Betsy Bright. Unexcused absence is seven. Distribute to three. Smoking at school property 11. Why me? <laughs> okay. If you're having a hard time in high school, just remember that it literally doesn't matter at all. Nope, not There's really. There's not a single part of high school that matters. It's just daycare for kids. It pretty much is. High school does not matter at all. I mean, if you're having a hard time, I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter. Being in high school teaches you things you'll be able to use later in life. Mm, I guess the socialization aspect is important. Like how to play hooky without people knowing. That's true. How to falsify excuses. Ow! He knocked me over! Ah, 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 oh, let go! Ah, let go! Ah, I need that ah, leg! Ah, I need it! Ah. <laughs> or not. What was your favorite class in high school? None of them. Really? None of them? You didn't like any of them? What about P.E.? No, I super hated that. I didn't like it either at the time, but it was good for me. No, I hated every single thing about it. When you were in elementary school and middle school, did you get to scoot around on those scooters in gym class? Yeah, that was fun. I feel like that might have just been preparation for when you're a mechanic. And you have to scoot around on those scooters to get on our cars. Possibly. Down at the end of the hall is ball storage. For jocks who like balls. Like... Richie Marcus. Did you hear me, Betsy? Richie likes balls. What? My ultimate point being, if you're having a hard time in high school, just remember that it's gonna end eventually, and you will never have to see those people again if you don't want to. Also remember, if you're having a hard time with life, that too will end. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> I turned your positive message into something incredibly negative. Yeah, you're a horrible person, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're learning how to be- oh, it's dogs playing poker. Yeah. I- Five cyber dogs playing poker. I get it now. <laughs> oh, yes! My Please step into the open and- I've forgotten about the old boy and the countless experiments I've done on him back in Higgs. Don't eat the visitor, boy. Don't, please. Now, let the intruder have the sonic emitter schematics. Klein wants it, all right, boy? Let Whoa! The intruder take That's a big dog! That's a big dog! That's a big dog! That's a big dog! Gabe! No! His cyber dog atomic core! It's active! That means an exceedingly imprecise countdown to critical failure in... Ten! Boros! Why the hell did you install an atomic core? Uh, is he about to explode? Should we be leaving right now? Nine. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah, I feel like they're counting down right now. I feel like we need to leave. Okay, let's leave. Five by five. Someone's coming in line. The gun you gave me when we started this quest was the yeah. thing we needed to disrupt force fields? Yes, but it wasn't upgraded, so it didn't disrupt force fields yet. Can it disrupt force fields now? I think so. Oh, okay. I was gonna get really mad for a second if I had that key quest item the entire time. Welcome to the high school hospital. My high school didn't even have a hospital. I know, mine didn't either. <laughs> it was at the same high school. Yeah. Remember how we didn't have a cafeteria? 
Do you remember how every time we had to do a debate, that was one of the things that always came up is, should we build a cafeteria at our high school? I do remember we had those stupid debates, yes. If we don't have a cafeteria, then nobody is part of cliques, and then people aren't left out. And it's like, no, that's not true, because they just go sit where they want to, and they don't let the nerdy kids sit with them. Shh. I'm the custodian. Oh, God! That's what you get for trying to clean the floors, custodian. And that's what you get for being friends with a custodian. Yeah! We've just received the latest shipment of dogs for the cyber dog experiment process, but I think our supplier screwed us. These animals are basically feral. Every time we get close to the shipping kennels, they hiss at us. Rattling is awful. Uh, we opened one of the kennels from our latest shipment, and the dog inside appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of mange. And upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole Specialist Acres. Luckily, the situation has contained itself as Specialist Acres was a very large man, and the creature has choked to death. Does anyone know anything else about this shipment? Please advise. Who's a good dog? Who's a good rattlesnake dog? Uh, probably not him, because he choked to death. In light of the large number of fatalities, due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I give you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. As I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department, <laughs> however, there may still be some delays. Security must be disabled before experiments can run. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're splicing a lobotomite in a robot, are you? Who am I? I feel different. Awake. Alive for the first time ever. What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? Aww. No! Oh! Oh, it's disabled. That was so mean! <laughs> yeah! He had just... He had just... He had just been born! Yeah. He didn't even have time to do... He died. What? Can I splice beer with something? You can try. I can splice beer with my stomach. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> That's refreshing. You know what I say? It's not a full day until you've made an abomination unto God. Now, uh, let's splice a lobotomite and a dog. Yes, that sounds terrifying. Oh boy. Let the experiment begin. Oh boy. Um, what? Uh, I had an experiment go horribly awry. Uh, the human just exploded. Oh no! <laughs> Okay. Sometimes these things happen, Mike. This is probably for the best, if we're being honest. Yeah, let's try another one. Splice a dog and a robot. What could possibly happen? I think we already know the solution to this. We've seen them before. Yeah. Robo dog. Robo dog. Hello. <coughs> You're lucky you weren't the previous test subject. Hi there, puppy. <coughs> Mike, we have a new companion. Yes, I love her already. Her name is Roxy. She's a robot dog. Why the hell are you just standing there? <laughs> okay. No, no, come back, come back. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, robot dog. Please come back. I have found Dr. Cialis. Hey, Dr. Cialis, how's it going? Oh, you know, not much. I just got turned into a skeleton. Yup, it sucks. You'll find it's a common theme around here, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we, uh, we've, uh... Foreshadowing. Yeah, we've all been turned into skeletons. <laughs> so, uh, what's it like being a skeleton? Oh, you know, it's pretty great. <laughs> I get to lean up against this wall all day, which is a lot of fun. Anyway, so, you know, it's kind of neat being a skeleton. I don't really have to... I don't have to do taxes anymore, which, hey, I gotta don't have to tell you about what a pain it is to do taxes. They say the only thing certain in life is death and taxes. Well, I found a way out of one of those things. Ah! <laughs> I don't have to do taxes anymore. Woo!